Welcome everybody to Trailblazing TV. I'm Deborah Sweet and I am super excited to have you here with me today and I'm really excited to share with you a really dynamic and special woman in my life. She's not just an amazing woman, but boy, she's a powerhouse with who she is and what she does. And we're bringing you some goodness today to help you get business in the short term and in the long haul. So with that, I'd like to introduce to you Lisa Reed. Lisa is the amazing brain behind Get Speaking Gigs Now. So Lisa, thanks for being here and welcome. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here and um, right back at you. You are an amazing trailblazing woman, obviously. And so I can't wait to uh, keep doing a bunch of stuff with you. I know we got some exciting things to share with you all and uh, we're going to get started. Awesome. So friends, when we talk about building your business strategically, how do we leverage your time so you can make more money, right? Those seem to be common goals. In fact, they are common goals that everybody in business has. How do I get more revenue in my pocket? How do I leverage my time? So I have this thing called work-life balance, have fun along the way. But I know that my ideal clients, and Lisa, I know this is you too, your people, they're genuine and really truly wanting to serve. And Absolutely. so, so friends, if you are in that space, Lisa's got a lot to share with you. So Lisa, tell us a little bit more about what you do with Get Speaking Gigs Now. What is this and why is it important? Yeah, it's so important. I think uh, there's, there's a segment of our population of entrepreneurs and business owners. So, you know, let us know if, if this is you who have a passion for sharing their expertise through speaking. It's like, yes. I, for me, when I talk to speakers, whether they're seasoned or brand new or just have been thinking about it for a while, it's like, I have this message. I can imagine myself speaking. Like there's this desire, this deep passion, a dream. And a lot of times it's kind of been um, put aside or, or forgotten for a while, kind of shelved. Mm -hmm. And uh, like that actually was kind of a little bit about my experience. I actually would bring, I have a bachelor's and master's in speech communication, but that was in the nineties. You know, that was when I was in college and I would bring speaking and teaching into any job that I had, but I kind of had to make it like, I was always kind of like making it work for me. It wasn't something I was doing on a regular. Okay. And so now, as I'm in this entrepreneur space, the business owner space, and seeing, I know, you know, you're out there, you're watching, you're going to the events, you're seeing someone speak, and you're like, oh my gosh, that could be me. And I think if that's just a, such an exciting way to serve people, it's an exciting way to educate without um, overwhelming, and it's mm -hmm. also an exciting way to leverage your time as so a you, business owner. Totally. Now, you just talked about a few things. And so first of all, thank you for sharing, but I have a couple questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what if the person, like friends, I'm talking to you, right? So I'm talking to you, but friends that are watching this video, I'm talking to you too, because many of you don't believe this. And I really have to share it that I'm a big introvert. I'm a hard introvert. And so Lisa, you talked about the dreamers that are like, oh my gosh, I can do that. Well, talk to me. Mm -hmm. Like, I will tell you, you know, for 10 years when I would get there, I would put, I put, I actually put myself in a situation where I had to show up on a weekly basis in networking so I could get referrals. Right. And oh my gosh, my heart would flutter when it came time to just do a little 10 minute presentation. And we had, you know, they gave us a, a little paper to fill out that we can put our bio in so we can get introduced. And I kid you not, it said on there something nobody knows. For 10 years, I wrote two words, I'm shy. Mm -hmm. And every time I was getting introduced, everybody in the room would chuckle. They're like, you are not shy. I'm like, oh, you have no idea. This mm -hmm. is not an easy space for me, right? So today I, I've learned some skills, but talk to that side of my audience and your audience, because I know there are people that are out there. They're like, I'm too shy to do this. I can't speak in front of the room. I can barely speak in the bathroom. Right? So how does your message and what you do with what you just shared, how does that relate to, um, yeah, I think, here? um, that's actually a lot of my clients, uh, mm -hmm. feel that way. And when I'm talking about that, um, that deep, uh, excitement, it's, it's usually about your expertise. 
Ah. Or when you start to realize how many people you can serve and how many people you can help by scaling yourself, like kind of stepping into that bigger space. It's, I'm not saying it's not scary ever, right? It can be scary. But what I have found is that when our message gets bigger than our fear yep. is when people call me, <laughs> they're nice. like, you know what? I'm, I, I can't keep this to myself any longer, even though I'm scared, even though I'm shy or introverted or whatever, but this has to get out to people so I can help more people. That's so what, what really happens. That's awesome. So to reiterate what I hear you saying is that if we shift our perspective, right, we change our mindset a little bit about what speaking is, or more importantly, what it can do. What you're actually saying is that by leveraging our time and speaking to maybe handfuls of people or a small room full, or for some of you, it could be a larger stage, right? Mm -hmm. That you're actually creating a potential that when we speak, we're actually creating the opportunity for ourselves to serve more people. And it's our passion. It's our passion for our, what we do that helps us move in front of the fear. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. And okay. you, you, you're able to, so one of the things that I'll work with people on is curating like your ideal audience, your ideal situation. Like just like you, you just nailed it, Deborah, where some people are like, I just want to talk to like groups of 20 people or like 10 people, or maybe it's a table, you know, you're like coming to the kitchen table and talking to a couple, um, like you're a financial advisor or something like that. And then there's others who are like, no, I'm, I'm more a hundred people, 500 people, a thousand people, 10,000 people, whatever. But there's, also different ways you can share your message through speaking as like we're doing one way right now like this is a zoom call so but people will be able to see it so video might be one way or podcasting or radio um or facebook live but um, it doesn't always have to be in front of physical live people oh see that's a really good tip that's mm -hmm. cool so friends lisa and i have been We've got something that we're cooking up. It's come in in Q1, but we wanted to kind of lay some opportunities on the table for you now because we are at the season where it's a great time to say yes to expanding your comfort zone a little bit. It's a great time to reach out and connect up with your next ideal client. It's even a great time to reconnect with those people who've already done business with you that could do business again. And speaking, is definitely one of those opportunities that makes that happen much more easily. So Lisa, do you wanna tell us a little bit more about what we've got cooking up from your side? Yeah, well, one of the things that I'll, I'll be sharing and uh, will be about how to get your talk ready to rock. So this is a little different than what we, you and I had talked about. Yeah, but um, I have found that that's the biggest block for people to get started. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, what am I going to talk about? How would I narrow down my 10, 20 years of expertise? <laughs> well, this is my, my, we call it a spaghetti mess, right? Here's yeah. my spaghetti mess. Well, yeah. and also we just know it so well. We know our stuff so well. It's like, how do you, it, it, there's a process of like really stripping it down to the basics that, cause we just are like, oh, well, doesn't everyone know that? The answer is no, they don't. So it's like, how do you fine tune those nuggets that you have that's really going to be helpful to the audience and also um, at the same time help you to attract the ideal clients that you would want to be working with. So I'm going to give a really cool, uh, we're going to, we're going to go through that process um, when, when we have our, our exciting fun event and um, it, we'll, we'll do a really cool overview. So you'll have that template to follow and uh, I want to share that with everybody so that you can, if you want to do speaking, then you can get out there and get started. Awesome. So friends, let me, let me share with you what Lisa and I've been hinting. We have coming up a very special workshop. It's a three hour workshop and we're blending our two areas of expertise. We're joining arms, locking arms here to help support you. So I'm going to be teaching about how to rock your brand how to live your brand from the inside out visually and verbally so that you can take center stage and you can attract your ideal client to increase your income and your clients. And part of the how, right? So I'm going to get the branding portion and then Lisa's going to layer in 
how to leverage your branding with that visual and verbal message in that platform of speaking. And so we're going to have a rocking good time because Lisa, what's the, what's the title of your talk? Get your talk ready to rock. Yeah. So I know. We, you got we, like to, we like how to rock. We like to rock. <laughs> yes, 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 we do. And so, so friends, we want to just prepare you. Um, Lisa, what's our date that we have scheduled? We have on January 16th, which is a Thursday. Yes. And it is the day before my birthday, which is, Ooh. you know, one of the, my favorite things to do during my birthday month is learn and teach. So I want you to come and celebrate and learn with us. Oh, that'll be great. And you know what? The 17th is a great day because I'm on the 17th too. I don't think you knew that. Not Wait, your birthday is? Oh, it's on the 17th. It's on oh, the 17th. I'm a, I'm, a I'm, a Mar I'm, a, I'm a St. Patty's baby. I'm a March 17th baby. <gasps> oh my gosh, how exciting. So the 17th, 17 is a great number. It's my favorite number. So, all right. So friends, keep an eye out. Lisa and I wanted to, like I said, we're going to lay some opportunities. We want you to save the date watch our follow-up because we're going to get the invitations open this is going to be an intimate room on purpose so if you are ready to rock your brand and ready to learn how to rock your talk make sure that as soon as you see our event invitation come open that you register and you get your seat because we want to give you quality hands-on time so this is going out to select individuals and we hope that you will be there with us so Lisa, I really appreciate your time. Is there anything you want to say in closing? I'm just super excited. I think 2020 is going to be an amazing year for a lot of folks and there's so many opportunities. Uh, it's just that stepping out and that, okay, I'm going to go for it. I believe in myself. I'm going to do this. And, and I, I'm just excited to be alongside with you on Me January too. 16th. Yeah. Me too. All right. Thank you so much for your time. And Bye. for you, being here with us today, remember this, you are appreciated, you are valued, we admire you, you are wanted, needed. Remember, live in your power, live in your peace. And what's the closing? Rock on. All right, <laughs> thanks. All right, bye Lisa, thank you. Bye. Bye.